cytotron. Well, cytotron is a, a, a device, rotational field quantum nuclear magnetic resonance. It produces modulated fast radio bursts uh, which uh, has therapeutic benefits. The device uh, is being used in vivo as well as in vitro uh, in tissue engineering, degeneration and uh, tissue repair uh, engineering. The work uh, on cytotron technology started and completed uh, with the first prototype in 1993. In 1997, the first uh, uh, discovery, first radio burst is a type of radio uh, signal. Normally, a radio signal that we use in a mobile phone or a uh, television, etc. These uh, <coughs> radio frequencies uh, are electromagnetic waves which has got an electric and random magnetic component. And the electrical component is linearly polarized and the magnetic component is circularly polarized. Uh, it was discovered uh, by me uh, that there is also a possibility that both electrical and magnetic uh, uh, component of the electromagnetic wave can be circularly polarized. So this was uh, for the first time presented at the uh, at, uh, IEEE conference at that time. Now, FRA in uh, tissue engineering is a very interesting subject uh, in the sense, uh, uh, you know, with uh, using fast radio bursts, you can modulate signals into it to get biological operations done. May it be a human, an animal or a plant, you can uh, get the modulation signal. Now, you need to understand one thing that 90% of all non communicable disease in humans are protein leaks. So a lot of work is going on on protein on proteinomics. So it's linked with the proteins. For example, including the dietary C D R the alpha protein. If it is defective or it is mutated uh, uh, or if it is uh, you know double regulated in the in that that way it doesn't doesn't produce proper uh, uh, you know incident. It uh, produces a uh, or whether they have insulin that doesn't work. Then you have, uh, you know, same thing uh, with chondrogenesis. So in the uh, HSP 70 and HSP 90 proteins are, uh, so, you know, uh, subregulated. Uh, then you do, you do the cartilage stops growing. So you land up with arthritis. So if you can manipulate these proteins, and for example, the cancer, the cancer happens because of one important reason, what the cause is, you know, but one of the reasons which is well over these days is because of the down regulation of pro apoptotic pro protein. Because the cell is not in the position to understand and get the signal from the nucleus of the cell that the cell division is complete and the cell has become old. This signal doesn't come. And this is because of the uh, protein and cancer. So, if you can manipulate these cancers, these uh, proteins in different diseases, you can manipulate the disease. So that is our belief and that's how we started. In three generation, uh, we have uh, uh, chondrogenesis, musculoskeletal disorders. Uh, clinical trial has been uh, completed and uh, approved by regulations for clinical use. Osteogenesis, non-union fracture and uh, pseudoarthrosis, uh, clinical trials completed and approved by uh, regulators for clinical use. In fact, uh, osteogenesis was one of the first uh, uh, studies done by uh, 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 Cytotron. Then neurogenesis, uh, a study is ongoing with uh, uh, collaboration of uh, John Hopkins uh, <clears throat> with uh, this, uh, you know, basically uh, the neurogenesis we are handling uh, cerebral palsy and stroke uh, as two indications. Uh, the uh, trial has been completed. They are waiting the regulatory clearance. Neoplastic disorders, the degeneration. So we have the neoplastic disorders, which is solid tumors, both malignant and benign. Clinical trial for it has been completed and it has been approved by the regulators for clinical use. So, what is tissue engineering? Tissue engineering is a field of altering, modifying and inducing control, regeneration, degeneration and biological tissues. So, 
And I told you, you have in your uh, uh, typically a protein, you have uh, uh, different amino acids, and uh, these amino acids are made by uh, uh, five uh, main uh, um, elements. So hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, and oxygen plays the most important role. And the resonance frequencies of these elements are uh, uh, given here 100 megahertz, uh, from 7 megahertz to 100 megahertz in this range. Then, <laughs> these are the cytotron functions. In this cytotron, we have a radio uh, frequency gun, which actually emits, uh, they are tuned guns, which emit the radio frequency. And around the radio frequency, we have a number of magnetic guns. And these magnetic guns produce anywhere between 0.72 uh, 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 Tesla and once this kind of uh, magnetic field is uh, produced it is tuned, is, uh, uh, put in between and it's from all the 360 degrees all around, from the, around the body uh, the signals are uh, delivered. So the cytotron comes under a type of radiation which is non-ionizing, non-thermal radiation. Now, uh, it comes under the radio spectrum of non-ionizing radiation. Now, ionizing radiation happens when an electron is knocked off from the uh, from an atom. So it produces, as I told you, high frequency, uh, I mean, uh, high power multi-frequency, high energy fast radio bursts uh, at uh, high intensity uh, of magnetic uh, field. There are uh, 864 guns uh, with uh, special near field uh, antennae that shoot these uh, FRB, which are precisely uh, targeted focused uh, using laser rays. These beams, uh, after the beams are specific to protein pathway. Thus, starting or stopping cell division is the main activity of uh, uh, the FRB in cytotron. Then, the uh, FRB and uh, hydrogen atom plays a very important role. Because hydrogen atoms are the key of cytotron. Because the amount of hydrogen atom in a tumor uh, tissue and in a normal tissue of the similar cell type are entirely different. And for every patient who we do the uh, cytotron treatment, you have to obtain the proton density sequence. Or you have to, proton density means density of hydrogen atoms uh, in, the, in the tumor. And that is how we, this device would target uh, the, uh, the good cells, uh, good uh, tissue and the cancer tissue. And this uh, cytotron is a cytostatic treatment. You have to, one thing you have to understand. All cancer therapies till date have been mainly cytotoxic. Whether it is chemotherapy or if it is a radiotherapy or uh, uh, so everything aims at uh, cytotoxic uh, 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 area. But cytotron is a cytostatic treatment. And one of the reasons that it is probably the first cytostatic treatment, uh, radiation treatment uh, uh, in cancer uh, in the cytotron. So what does the FRDs do? Of course it's a long, very long story. Uh, to make it short, it basically uh, causes uh, what is known as uh, uh, photonic uh, motive force within the <laughs> tissue, doesn't cause any heat. Basically, it applies a signal and that signal can alter certain things in the cell which in turn uh, upregulates or downregulates a given protein or a group of proteins. So that is what cytotron does. That is why it is very unique and because it is very unique, it was a breakthrough, it was designated as a breakthrough by the, by the United States uh, Food and Drug Administration. So, uh, the along with the memory, activate the normal cellular communication channels for active synthesis or and gene expression suppression of uh, appropriate proteins in different groups. Example, the HSP group P53, P53 has got two more for it, 63 and 73, then uh, NTOR, then uh, EGF, KMP, MPK, as required uh, for halting tumor mitosis. These, these many proteins are to be manipulated. Now, this has been uh, 
not only uh, it has been also done uh, in uh, vitro. It has been done in vitro to understand this uh, uh, effect of uh, FRP in our tissue. Tigerbrom is a very simple uh, therapy, it's a very simple way of using it uh, because it has non ionizing, non thermal radiation. So, uh, excepting that uh, there are some color contra indication, uh, is that uh, you know, use of pacemakers is a contra indication or use of uh, if there are any implants uh, near the region of uh, interest, then it is a, a contra indication. Certain drugs are also contraindicated, like proton pump inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, uh, are also uh, you know uh, uh, contraindicated. Or if any other uh, one more intimate, important indication, uh, contraindication is uh, if the patient is infected with uh, HIV or hepatitis uh, B virus, uh, then it is a contraindication uh, because the, the uh, it is least uh, progress is possible. So, how do we start? So, first is very simple. The patient goes to a typical MRI machine and in the MRI machine, you obtain a proton density uh, of the tissue. MRI uh, can measure proton density. Then, uh, tissue air reflection, tissue air uh, refraction, permeability, permittivity, conductivity of the tissue, uh, then uh, the target, the focus, and uh, uh, finally, uh, whether it is a fixed or a variable density uh, dosimetry. This is the conductivity of the tissue uh, in the FRB. You can see the cytochrome uh, uh, band, uh, different tissues are in my skin, wet skin, uh, muscles, bone, blood, brain, and uh, you know, white matter, fat, etc. There is a tissue permittivity. Permittivity is another important thing to understand in uh, uh, second round. Uh, then the depth of penetration. Uh, depth of penetration, again, we have to understand one thing the higher the frequency, lower is the penetration. So, the penetration that, that also is a factor uh, which we have to understand by using it. And uh, these are the, if I have told you, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, uh, carbon, and of course, calcium, potassium, and other uh, uh, other elements are also important. And this is how uh, we take the proton density from the skin to the target. This is a typical, uh, you know, cyclotron machine. And this is the uh, cyclotron machine interior how, how it is. So it is a it is a pretty complex, uh, pretty complex uh, machine. Uh, the the total amount of wires used in this machine is put stretch put into each other. It is a distance from here to Mumbai. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, then the treatment process. So the cyclotron treatment also starts with a normally we take a PET CT because. Cytotron treatment is a whole body treatment. So you can have, you have 864 guns where you can focus different uh, targets. So first we do a, a PET scan to see where are the possible targets. And based on that, uh, we obtain the proton density uh, and uh, with an uh, uh, MRI machine. Then radiologists give the CT guided uh, surface marking of the region of interest. So, uh, the region of interest, the uh, proton density is seen. After the proton density, the radiologist is uh, using CT, he will mark the region of interest. And uh, I think the point of uh, doing the cytotron, a template is made uh, uh, from the surface marking. And those planning uh, for uh, PD sequence is all also done by the, by the technicians. Then the simulation is uh, fed into the cytotron machine that calculates the required dose and precise target uh, for the uh, uh, location of the region of interest with the 4 mm resolution. So now the uh, device is ready for deploying. Cytotron is ready, uh, uh, already approved by uh, many uh, organizations. The device is approved for CD can use by the 
Ministry of Health, Family Welfare, Government of India, uh, and uh, Medical Devices uh, Authority, Malaysia. Then uh, the deal also is currently approved in accordance with the uh, Medical Devices Directive uh, by the European Council, uh, being upgraded to Medical Devices uh, Regulation, as well as uh, the regulation set forth uh, by the uh, Middle East uh, uh, Saudi uh, Food and Drug Administration and the Commission uh, the coffee trees in South uh, America. So, cytokine cancer treatment is currently in use in about nine countries uh, and has uh, already treated uh, uh, quite a number of patients. So, yeah, cytokine is uh, patented worldwide, uh, including the World Intellectual Property Organization, uh, and it is also patented in uh, China, which is why I said China especially is, is very difficult. China is not going to take the Indian keys. So, so it is the first ever Indian medical device to get a breakthrough uh, which by designation from the US FDA in the treatment of cancer. Uh, so this was the, what the, uh, the FDA has said in their uh, 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 letter they have sent us. We are pleased to inform you that your device and proposed indication for use need the criteria, meet the criteria and have been granted designation as a breakthrough device. This was a proud moment uh, for us and I thank uh, Dr. Meena and John for that. It was because of their hard work that uh, uh, this could get uh, through in the US and the uh, And uh, then uh, it was in 2022, it was uh, approved by the Central uh, uh, Drug Standards Organization, Ministry of Health. Uh, and family welfare government of India. <coughs> now, where should cytotron fit uh, according to us? Uh, is because it's a cytostatic treatment, uh, it should, I feel, be the first line of treatment so that you uh, stop the mitosis, which is the first thing required. Then, after that, you have sufficient time to try all the other treatments to see that the patient is cancer free. Thank you. Thank you very much.